now. It's time for our daily devotion. Daily, daily, daily abiding, abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily, daily, daily abiding, abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ. A daily devotional ministry by Chris Dugogino Baga. Daily, daily, daily abiding, abiding in Jesus Christ. 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 May 9, 2020 Isaiah 58 verses 13 to 14 13 If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. 14. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy God has given men six days wherein to labor, and he requires that their own work be done in the six working days. Acts of necessity and mercy are permitted on the Sabbath, the sick and suffering are at all times to be cared for, but unnecessary labor is to be strictly avoided. Turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable. And, honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure. Isaiah 58 verse 13 Nor does the prohibition end here. Nor speaking thine own words, says the prophet. Those who discuss business matters or lay plans on the Sabbath are regarded by God as though engaged in the actual transaction of business. To keep the Sabbath holy, we should not even allow our minds to dwell upon things of a worldly character and the commandment includes all within our gates. The inmates of the house are to lay aside their worldly business during the sacred hours. All should unite to honor God by willing service upon His holy day. By Ellen G. White Patriarchs and Prophets pages 307 to 308